Hey guys, welcome back to Bomb T R O V. Today it's what everybody's been waiting for. We're gonna have footage for you guys today of the first maiden voyage, uh, which funny enough was uh, in a hotel pool at the Hyatt House. So <laughs> that was fun. And uh, you'll notice in the video that there was a couple of uh, technical issues that I was having using it when I first deployed it for the first time. But that was just because I didn't know what I was doing and it was easily resolved so in this video you'll also see it's the second time in the pool where you can actually see how uh, we fixed those problems and we'll go over that a little bit but uh here we are it's not just a story anymore it is actually in the pool and functioning and it's going to be fun to check it out so here we go all right arming and disarming Yeah. Ready? Hyatt House. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's buoyant. One of the first things I noticed was that I forgot to put the ballast weights on because in my haste to get the rover into the pool, I forgot them in my room. But it was an easy fix. So you just screw them on to the bottom and it takes about five seconds to put one on, so I did it later. Get the cord, right? No, it's fine. Okay. Oh, I turned. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can go sideways. <laughs> it just crab walks the whole way. Really sure. <laughs> it was right about this time when I was starting to realize that the directions that I was inputting to the controller were not responding as intended. It became pretty obvious pretty quickly. And at that point, I did not know how to resolve that issue. It wasn't until later that we had already pulled the rover out of the pool and I learned that it was because I did not do an auto motor detect, which is essentially a calibration that auto detects the directions and the thrusters have to be synced up by using the auto motor detect function on Q ground control. So this is how you do it. You go up to the icon at the top and then you go down to motors and then at the bottom of this window you see where it says the the button that you can click auto motor detect at that point after you click it the rover does its test of all eight thrusters individually kind of does a little dance in the pool or in the water And after that, it is good to go and you have full control over the rover in all directions at that point. So it was an easy step, an easy thing to fix. But when you are looking at this program and trying to figure out what to do, I just, I overlooked that step and uh, I didn't figure that out until the second time that I got it into the pool. So here is the footage of it after we solved that problem. Thank you guys for joining me today in this video. If you like this type of content, please click the like and subscribe button because there's still some preliminary steps to launching the rover that we haven't gone over yet. The next thing that we'll go over in the next video is the IMU sensor calibration. An IMU sensor feeds telemetry data into Q ground control so that you have depth and positioning data. The calibration process involves a fun little dance and it is something that you should do anytime that you relocate and in between launches. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far and until next time, have a good day.